What's up everyone? Today we're going to be walking through how to install the latest BIOS for the Asus ROG Crosshair X870E Apex. This process might sound intimidating, but I'll walk you through step by step so you can do it safely and confidently. Let's get started. Before we download anything, we need to know the exact make and model of your motherboard. On Windows, press the Windows key and type in system information. Open it up and under system summary, look for baseboard manufacturer and baseboard product. That's your motherboard's brand and model. For example, it might say Asus ROG Strix B550F or MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk. Whatever it is, write it down because we'll need to find out the correct BIOS file for it. Next, you're gonna wanna go on Google and put that exact motherboard make and model into the search and it's usually the first link that you'll have to click. Now that you're on the motherboard's website, you're going to want to click the support page. Once you're on the support page, look for a section called drivers and BIOS or firmware. Here you'll see a list of BIOS versions available. My suggestion is to always go with the latest stable release and try to avoid beta BIOS unless you absolutely need one of the features from it. Step number three, you're going to want to go ahead and download the BIOS file and unzip it. Most manufacturers will give you a single cat file or a bin file. If you're on ASUS, you might also see a BIOS renamer tool. Make sure to run that so the file name is in the correct format or your motherboard won't recognize it. For step number four, you're going to want to go ahead and grab yourself a USB. USB drive. We're going to go ahead and format it to FAT32 using disk management. You will need a USB drive which is at least 4 gigabytes or larger. Here's how you're going to format the USB so it's eligible for the BIOS update. First press the Windows key and type in format. Click on the create and format hard disk partitions. This will open up disk manager. In the list find your USB drive, right click it and choose format. For file system select FAT32. You can leave everything as default and just click OK next 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 until you're done. Just as a brief warning this will erase everything on your drive so make sure you back up anything that you need or any important files, photos, anything like that. Once the format is done, you can now go ahead and copy and paste the BIOS file you downloaded directly onto the USB. Don't put it in any folders and just keep it in the main directory. Once this is done, you can go ahead and restart your PC. When your computer boots back up, spam the delete key on your keyboard until it boots into the BIOS. Every brand's BIOS looks a little bit differently, but you're looking for something like Easy Flash, M Flash, Q Flash, Instant Flash, it really all depends on your motherboard. Inside the Flash utility, select the USB drive and choose the BIOS file you copied earlier. The system will ask if you're sure, so go ahead and confirm and click OK. And now the most important warning that you have to understand when doing the BIOS. Do not turn off your computer during this update. If you lose power or shut down, you risk breaking your motherboard. So make sure your PC is stable and connected to a reliable power source. Definitely don't do this when there's a thunderstorm outside. After five to 10 long minutes, your PC will automatically restart. It'll go back into the BIOS itself and double check that the version number matches the one you downloaded. If it does, Congratulations, you've successfully updated your BIOS and now you can continue using your PC. Usually BIOS updates help fix most PC problems. I've seen everything from freezes, restarts, everything. Update your BIOS. And that's it, you've updated your BIOS, congratulations. I hope this video was helpful. Just to let you know about PCs, we do build the highest end, best custom gaming PCs here in Canada. Check it out on our website, gamertech.ca. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave us a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.